So don't speak to impress, speak to connect and engage. Because when we're trying to impress people, we're actually not being, we're doing. Because we're trying to do the right thing, choose the right word, have the right style. It's like you're following a list of steps. And from the other end, it feels like you are trying to look for approval and taking something away from your audience rather than giving where you're happy to be vulnerable and happy to be secure enough that you're going to speak for the best the best outcome for your listener as opposed the best outcome for yourself by putting yourself first so when we're speaking we're reaching out to engage rather than you're wanting approval. So it's important and have, you know, that you look at and really go to your heart and say, to be honest, this is what I want. You know, and do you want to have an impact on your audience, like something that they can feel, something that they can do, something that they can... Um, think and know so it's usually feel know and do head heart hand uh, head heart yeah hand meaning the action center so you're speaking to reach out you're not speaking to be to collect and, and and receive from others you will receive if you're able to give and they receive so when they receive you receive so it's really important because that, that way the language doesn't come across as if it's been pre-recorded, <laughs> read out, and there's no cracks, there's no natural expression, there's no like, oh, excuse me, I'd like to say it this way, or pauses. It doesn't feel real. Do you know? It feels like it's been too super organised, too polished, and it depends, of course, where you are, but just keep in mind when that's happening and when it's not. Like, how is it that you sound? Like, do you sound too monotonous, too programmed, too, too tight, too rigid, too impressive to the point that it's now lacking authenticity and it's lacking a naturalness flow like sometimes a conversation is?